I'm out here with Todd from Central Oregon Survival Network and his mad scientist lab. I uh, picked up this old Eastern Arms single shot 12 gauge for $40 and we're going to kind of uh, at least today get through the first couple of steps of seeing what we can do to turn this in, into a versatile bush gun. We're going to cut down the barrel and maybe see if we can uh, improvise some kind of a sight system on the barrel and, and I don't know. We'll, we're just going to kind of improvise. Yeah. Be a great little bush gun. Hopefully, when we get done, and yeah, it should be good stuff. Anyway. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this guy apart. This has a forearm that just attaches by a spring clip. I'm going to pop that guy off and take the barrel. We're going to take apart the uh, stock, get that off of there, and we're going to take a look and make sure that you know all of the uh, components are good to go. At this point I've gone through the whole action and everything and made sure that everything is tight and functioning correctly and lubed up the appropriate points. Now we'll, um, I'll start just roughing up this stock a little bit so it'll take some paint and then I'll do the same thing with the forearm and maybe even a little bit with the metal and then Basically, our next step is to cut down this barrel. This will give you a, a nice straight 90 when we cut it off. There's a little bit more to clean up when you use this, but it'll be nice and clean by the time we're done. attempt to turn one of these screws into some type of a aiming point on the front sight. We, uh, we just did this on the, on the piece of barrel section that we cut off just in case we messed it up, but Todd drilled and tapped a hole in here and we found this little machine screw that we're thinking is going to be our front sight. So we were thinking how do we get that perfectly aligned to the flat part on the back of the barrel. So what we did is we cut a piece of angle iron. Since it's pretty well trued right along the ridge line, we're basically just gonna stick this piece of angle on here, line it up on the rear, and that'll bring us right on the money on our front side. I'm actually gonna mark this to take about an inch off of the stock. Okay. And the reason that I'm doing that is just number one, to save a little weight, and number two, because I don't quite need all that length. All right, so we got it all back together, and uh, it's definitely a little shorty. I think that's going to make a good little bush gun. We, uh, we've got a little cosmetic work to it that we're going to do, so we'll start on that process and uh, maybe show you guys a little bit along the way. maybe a little longer with paint drying time and um, we're about 34 inches overall 19 inch barrel and I think this is going to be a real handy gun it's super light probably weighs about as much as a 1022 and uh, nice handy little bush gun so we're going to go out and test fire it but I just can't get over the fact that um, this is what we were able to put together for $40 <laughs> a couple of spare parts laying around the shop <laughs> got a little bit of a kick to it. <laughs> That's got a nice spread to it. What do you think, Todd? I think this really came out really well. It's got a good balance to it, and you can pack it up real nice. I think it's going to be great for out there. So the idea here was to create a nice, handy, compact little rifle or <clears throat> little firearm 
that would be a good bush gun, something that would have the versatility of taking a variety of different games, something that would be really packable, um, shoot commonly available ammo. So, really happy with the way it turned out. Todd just rocked the paint job on that thing. Um, it was a good joint little project, but it's really light and very compact. It disassembles in about three pieces. The disassembled length is just a little over 19 inches, so it'll easily fit in a backpack, and it should be a nice little bush gun. Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. Check out Central Oregon Survival Network always, and uh, Coyote works out. Nice.